And so the rabbi says to the priest, <laughs> liquor, I thought it was horseradish. That's just so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even, I don't even get that. I don't even know what that is. Are we even on? I don't think we're on yet. We're on. We're on. No, we're not. We're on. I can't see. Right, Justin, we're on? Oh, my gosh. Yes, guys, we're live. Where's the risers full of miniatures? <laughs> so, well, hold on. We'll get to that. So, hey, everybody. It's Friday. Ron, it's are you in your pajamas? No, no. I'm in my old man cardigan, okay. though. Um, oh, okay. Is- I thought it was a robe. No. Well, may as well be. <laughs> for the Bones 5 Live update. Um, and I'm joined today with a truncated pair of co-hosts, Gene Van Horn and Jason Weeby. And I'm Justin not truncated. Hawkins. Speak for yourself, Hawkins. More than you. <laughs> we're just a list of hosts. Our other uh, guests, Bobby Jackson and Michael Proctor, couldn't make it, um, I guess, because we don't know where they are, but they probably had a better plans yeah. than that. So. Yeah, that's Hi, the, they'll tell you they have something better to do, probably. Yeah, yeah. Bobby, something with his granddaughter or something like that something important yeah yeah Any Proctor's out in the beautiful wilderness riding a bike somewhere with his new puppy with and his stuff dog like yeah. yeah i mean it's yeah. idyllic yeah so well guys thanks for joining me today i appreciate it how's it been going good it's been going survived a windstorm so yeah. we did all right well your windstorm has made it detected now so yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's what i hear we yeah. got sixty-five mile an hour winds. We see we don't get uh, we don't get hurricanes or tornadoes. We just get what some kind of atmospheric river. Now they're calling it. So hmm. we had an atmospheric river go through. It snowed here last week, right, Justin? Good. Well, we really didn't get snow where we were, but you know, everyone south of us and north of us did. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. It didn't stick here really, uh, but it snowed a lot. It was it was really nice to see it because we don't get it because it was nice to see but then it it didn't stick but places like justin said west of us west of dallas and south of dallas they got like several inches of snow but i think it melted really really quickly but it was nice to see it's been a while but that's not why we're here today to talk about the weather we're here to tell you today to talk about bones five right yeah sure yay bones five yeah thank you. okay Woo-hoo. good go bones five <laughs> Um, so, hey, real quick, uh, uh, we don't have a lot of new information today. As you guys know, the pledge manager is, was winding up. Um, things have been shut off. Uh, some more stuff is going to be turned off here really soon. We, yeah, we went, we wanted to keep it on until January 31st and that, that is the plan. Um, but if it ends up turning off sooner, it's not because we're trying to punish anyone. It's because we don't have any inventory to, to ha- let, let backers uh, pledge for stuff. So, because the, the orders from China have already been put in, so that stuff's already been produced and we have a buffer to make sure we we're, you know, if we have shortages or damaged products, we can always go back and pull from this, this inventory, but we're, we've kind of sold through it all. So don't be surprised. We got all our eBay eBay extras in, right? Yes. All your artist copies. (laughs) I'm worried now that the artist copies are going to be pretty, pretty slim too, but, uh, We'll see what we can do. We'll oh, see what we can well, do. now you tell me after you close the Kickstarter. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Nothing will be, uh, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Okay. But anyway, uh, so if you haven't pledged, oh, man, you better get in there. and, and Or if you're closed, get in there and, and close now. Um, again, this isn't to punish you guys. Because, well, you guys said the 31st. Well, we're not turning it off early to, to piss people off. It's just because we don't have anything to sell. And that's going to piss people off even more. Dwindling supply. And they don't get it. Yeah. Supply's already but, been there. I mean, it, you're chipping away at what you've already ordered. It takes a long time order. to produce, yeah. to pack it, to ship, uh, to get here, for us to organize it, get it ready, then fulfill it. It takes a long time. So, um, Well, and you have Chinese New Year coming up, too. So you know, we, there, is a, there is a cap yeah. we have to put the on. The country shuts down for a month. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's a long time, so we've got to get all this stuff uh, done. So, um, but this stuff will be out in stores. I know there's still Bones Four stuff that's not out yet, but most of it's out. Um, as with the Bones Five stuff, it will be out in stores. You'll be able to get it. We've already organized a lot of the releases, uh, so that when Bones Five ends and we do fulfillment, uh, we'll roll right into uh, putting stuff into the uh, your favorite local gaming store. So, 
Here we go. As a matter of fact, we're going to look at some of the items today. They're going to be the first items out into distribution into your retail stores after the uh, fulfillment ends. So, um, so if you want to, we'll just roll right into that. What do you think? Great. So these are Bones 5 first ones to hit retail. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And Justin, you've got those pictures, and we can just pull these up in no particular order. You can just roll pull it, up. Justin. Huh? Oh, I just said roll it, Blood Justin. demons. Roll it, Justin. Sweet. Here we go. Yeah. These are, so these are the Demonic Legion. This was the power-up from uh, the Kickstarter. Um, the the power-up's already been turned off, so you can't get these anymore. But this this set will be a box set. It's going to be a box set with seven seven miniatures in it. Uh, all these seven demons and a little window box and uh, all sculpted by Bobby Jackson and uh, just a neat little box. Now, you'll notice that the, the branding on these boxes are all going to say Dungeon Dwellers. And you'll see a lot more of that with the post uh, Kickstarter Bones 5 stuff. When things come in boxes, they're going to be sort of themed so that you be, you'll be able to take these and sort of you know, open up and go right into playing role playing games or war games or anything like that. Same kind of thing, but instead of buying these guys singly, you're just going to give them a box. Now, that doesn't mean they won't be available singly, maybe in the future, but initially they're going to be available as a box. So there you go. And um, this is the first box the Blood Demons, again, called the Demonic Legion in the Kickstarter, but here we decided to call them Blood Demons. What's the price point on a box like that, Ron? Don't know yet. Have Don't have that out just yet. But I would imagine this one would be between, let's see, um, uh, let's just say about $20. Um, so about you get, $20. You get six human sized demons and a giant demon for 20 bucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, well, a, roughly, that's yeah. a lot of hell for 20 bucks. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah. Now, again, uh, please don't quote me on this because we haven't. Uh, figured out the MSRP on it yet, but between 20 and 30. Yeah. Somewhere in there. Okay. Yeah. A lot That's of good, good stuff. Deal. A lot of good stuff. All right. And let's see, Justin, go ahead and roll the next one. Okay. This is another Dungeon Dwellers box. This is the Henchman and Hirelings box. And as you'll notice in the Kickstarter, we had an option called um, Henchman and Hirelings. And what we did is we took the hench women models and we rolled them all into one box so you're going to get the all the hench women and hench men all together in one box uh we didn't want to call it henchmen hench women and hirelings it was just too much so we went with the, the henchmen and hirelings so please no hate mail please it was just just convenient to be able to just do like this um these were all sculpted by bobby and the painted versions were done by aaron lovejoy so Aaron was nice, but just those are great. Yeah, yeah, I like that together. box. Yeah, it's good. I mean, that's a lot of first level characters too. If you wanted to do it that way, great box for so many things, and really harkens back to, for me personally <clears throat> to the old Grenadier box sets. Yeah, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rough Heart did a lot of box sets, but this reminds me so much of a, of the Grenadier um, sets that came in the little the rectangular little boxes. Yeah. So this, yeah, this will be coming out really soon uh, this summer. A little more uh, current scale. A little bit, a little bit. Sculpting is probably a little more updated. Doesn't look so. Uh, <laughs> doesn't look so chewed bubble gum as what they used to. Um, hey now. I was going to say some of those are still pretty damn good. Some yeah. of those grenadiers, but I still got them. I mean, if they were big, yeah, if they were small good, by today's standards. Yeah, yeah. If they were bad, I would have thrown them out away. I still have them, so they must be. There you good. go. There you go. So now on these, by the way, so Ed Pugh went through and, and handpicked these boxes. He's like, we're going to put these out first. So he chose the demons, the hirelings, and the next one, which is, let's see. Go ahead, Justin, you can choose. Ah, the, yes, the elemental silence. Hmm. Cool. So these will be a box. We showed these last time. Uh, or we showed these on the Bones 5 update, uh, or the Kickstarter update last week. So this is the Elemental Scions with Earth, Air, Fire, and Water. Um, Earth and Water by Jason, and Fire and Air by Bobby. Designed by Easy Collier. So you get all four of these. 
And I think we said in, in the last update, three of these were available in the as a, as a stretch goal option in the Kickstarter. And people would say, well, where's air? You have fire, earth, and water. Where's air? Where air, air was in the fan favorites box. So you'll be able to get all four, though, after the Kickstarter ends in this one window box. So um, beautiful job sculpting and beautiful job painting by Michael Proctor, Rhonda Bender, and Michael Kleeman. What do you guys think about that? Very nice. That looks really good. Yeah. That'll be a nice box, too. Yeah. All these boxes so far are going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, and as far as MSRP on this, don't know yet either, but we'll figure it out before. before. I think we're well, looking at... these are 75 is, millimeter figures, too. Yeah, they're big. They're not small guys. These are 75 millimeters each. So, it's like 300 millimeters of, of, of miniatures right there. So, um, I believe this is the first item that comes out from of the box sets. I know, I believe we're looking at probably June, June or July for this. And all these other ones we've been showing, you'll be uh, June, July, August, somewhere in that time frame. And we've got more planned for after that. So yeah, there's the elemental scions. I think we've got two more to look at. Okay, what's next? Oh yeah. Okay, this is what called the Brian Wynn oh, Extra option. Yeah, in the Kickstarter. And let's see, these were done by Chris Lewis and Kevin Williams. And uh, it's kind of a generic, kind of a terrain uh, set. No fig, no no character models, no monsters, but just sort of generic terrain. But I'm telling you, the um, the the uh, first shots we've, we've gotten of this, this stuff is so good. It, it looks so good. They, the reproduction on it has been so sharp and so crisp. They, these are really, really good. So, and you need crates and barrels and such for your ship, too. You, you do. If you've purchased a ship, and who hasn't, really, right? Yeah. Uh, not only that for your ship, but these look good in your dungeon as well. So um, if you've got crates or storage areas in your dungeons and things like that, these are great terrain for that as well. If you want to make a tavern scene, you've got your table and four chairs, your bar. I was wondering, how does the bar fit on the ship? Can you show us that? Oh. Hey, man. <laughs> It fits. It fits. Does it? I imagine yeah. it does. It probably looks pretty good too. Probably it room does, for table yeah. and chairs. Yeah. Only you would think of putting this sh the bar on the ship, but uh, now that you mention it, yeah, I think it would look good there. You should have a bar anywhere it fits. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So, and this is the uh, the Pirate City of Brinewind. So this is a terrain box. So a lot of great stuff. I don't know the MSRP on this either. But you'll notice that in the Brian Wynn Kickstarter, or excuse me, the, um, the, in the Bones 5 Kickstarter, the Brian Wynn Extras option, who's calling me, um, had the, uh, it's, it's... It's Michael it's, asking when we're going to be on. <laughs> no, it, it's Bobby it's, telling you he just got home. It's Cindy, our production manager. Um, the Raft of the Damned, the, uh, the, the shark and the zombies is not part of this uh we didn't think that that it would work that it worked that well <laughs> as a terrain set it's more of a unique kind of a, a painter's yeah. piece so we didn't put it in the set makes sense absolutely that sense. is going to be available later right it is actually one of the first things that's going to be available separately we've actually uh, designed the blister it comes out on one of our if you guys have seen in the stores or maybe ordered from our from their online store uh, the uh, the bones black cards with the uh, the images on the front and the back or the image on the back and then it's got the pre instead of rattled parts it's sort of vacuum formed in it's one of the first things we're going to release and it's the raft of the damned on a, a, a vacuum form card so cool um, you would pull it right because we wanted to make sure it all became available at the same time so yeah did Proctor call we'll dibs on that uh, what does he not call dibs and I think that's the easiest <laughs> thing what does he not want to paint, I guess? There's Kevin Williams. Um, let's hey, see. Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Because we were looking at your stuff you sculpted, Kevin, for the uh, Brian Extras box. Okay. So, uh, yeah, and that's a, this is a really quite a large box. You know, it's, it's pretty big. So, there you go. All right. And... And it also has a map of Brian inside of it. You'll have to see when we get that. All right, what's next, Justin? The last thing, the last box we've got to show. Oh, yeah. 
So originally this was called Shadows of the Dwarf King's Crypt, and then it was called the Dwarf King's Crypt, and eventually I just decided to call it the Crypt of the Dwarf King because of the way uh, the fonts and the, and the words played together and the way it laid out. It just never really worked right. So Crypt of the Dwarf King it is, and again, you'll notice another Dungeon Dwellers, and this is called the, one of the Dungeon Dwellers Encounters. So one of the things we're going to try to do in the future is if a box set comes with uh, terrain, monsters, and characters, we're going to try to put it out as a Dungeon Dwellers Encounter box. So you'll get everything you need to sort of, not everything you need, but you get a lot of the, the big components to, to run an adventure. So here, and Bobby wrote the text for the back of this. Tom Mason sculpted all the figures. I wrote the text, and Bobby said, I could do better than that. So Bobby wrote the text. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so Bobby wrote that text and it actually turned out a lot better than my text. Um, yeah, so you get all this stuff and on all these box sets, we have a QR code on there. And if you scan the QR code, it'll take you to a web page, which is going to give you a lot more information, either painting guides or maybe uh, a scenario or uh, some sort of a, uh, just some background information for you. If you want to use this stuff in a game, it'll give you all the information, not all the information. It'll give you some information for you to use in role-playing games, things like that. Um, so that's what uh, that's what that is. If you look at what, one of the things also, if you remember the uh, Henchman and Hirelings box was green, the Demons box was red, and this one's kind of has a bluish hue. You can't really tell here, but uh, when, you, when you see the full box, it's got a bit more of a bluish color. So I think monsters are gonna be red, characters are gonna be green, and encounters are gonna be more of a blue color. So they'll be kind of color-coded. I hate to really say that too much, but they're gonna be kind of color-coded for you. When you see them, you'll see what's monsters, what's characters, and what's encounters. So there you go. Tom Mason did That's a fantastic cool. job with this stuff. Yeah, I really like all these guys. And I like Bobby's idea for the uh, for the encounter. That, uh, that would be fun to play. Yeah, I just read it while you guys were talking. Yeah, well, see, I said, "Hey, read this, Bobby." So I, I wrote it, and he goes, like, "You should write it like this instead." Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, he's written a few adventures me. for us. Rhonda just texted me; she found a typo on the box. <laughs> Thanks, Rhonda. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> I mean, I didn't see any typos. Well, we'll just probably I misspelled something really, really bad. See, you, Kevin. I'll have to see what it is. It didn't get very far before we misspelled something. Um, there you go. So those are the, these are previews of items that are coming out after Bones Fulfillment, Bones 5 Fulfillment. These will be items coming out in boxes, window boxes, in stores uh, this summer. So there you go. Here you go. Now, um, a couple weeks ago on Bones, uh, uh, on Reaper Live, we showed images of the glow-in-the-dark ghost ship. And if, there it is. So if you didn't see these on uh, Reaper Live, here they are here. So what Ed did is, uh, these were over in the studio, right, Justin? Correct. Yeah. Mm, glowy. Yeah, they all just yeah, charged that's up. Yeah, very the, cool. Just the lights, and then they just turned off the lights, and Ed took out his iPhone and just snapped some pics. So um, you'll notice that the mass and the, the bowsprit, they don't quite glow the, the same as the, uh, the the ship itself it's because those it was really important to us to make sure that those parts were straight and didn't bend like bone sometimes wants to bend a little bit so we had those produced in a different material and when those materials uh, had the glow in the dark uh, plastic injected it just doesn't it's just not quite the same however I don't think it looks bad at all I think it looks kind of no. cool that way I didn't even notice it until someone pointed it out to me. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. You know, yeah, no, we really need a Scooby Doo encounter for this ship. Yeah, we do. We really do. Um, <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. So this is the Storm Wraith, and the non glow the dark version is called Sophie's Revenge. So, so uh, again, these are, are no longer available in the Pledge Manager. If you had the chance to get one, I hope you did. Um, it's possible, very possible, that in the future we may have a few of these left over on our web store after fulfillment. They're all coming pre-boxed. They're not coming in bags. So when you get yours in fulfillment, I should show you guys the box. But I'll, maybe we'll do that next time. It's a it's a long box, and the, you get your hulls sort of stacked together. You just have to glue together your your masks and things like that. But it's 
pretty much ready to go right out of the box. You can play with it right out, right out, right out of the box. A little bit of That's assembly really is required. Cool. I can't wait yeah. for mine. Yeah. Which one did you get? I got two of these. I'll get two gold in the darks. Yeah. I really figured cool. I could paint one and keep the other one glow in the dark. It's neat. Pretty neat. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's what we showed a couple weeks ago. We put that in the Kickstarter update last week too. So again, you guys have seen everything in, in the Kickstarter. I don't think we're, I mean, there maybe there, I don't have chat pulled up. So if there are people in chat <clears throat> asking questions, I can't see it, but we've pretty much showed everything so far. At this point, we're just sort of sitting on our hands waiting for stuff to show up. Um, we expect uh, two ships to show up in Dallas, or the ship, not the ships, but the shipments to show up at the end of February. So it's coming. That that wave of stuff is coming. And when it gets here, it's unloading containers and pallets and all that fun stuff. Chat says Ron's ignoring us. <laughs> I'm not ignoring I just don't have you pulled up. Um, so if there's any questions, make, make, feel, you know, feel free to, to bring them up here. Um, but yeah, so these containers are going to show up, and there's just so much stuff. We thought Bones 4 was a lot of stuff. Bones 5 is going to be just – it's going to be massive. So are, are, are we still on track for fulfillment? Yes. Yeah. As, like Which we said – begins huh? – you're thinking April? Is that right? Yeah, that's April, the target. May. Yeah. Yeah, so if we've got stuff shipping. Um, so stuff started shipping now. We've got more ships leaving in January before Chinese New Year. Uh, obviously, nothing will ship during Chinese New Year, during the, the holiday. But as soon as that's over, they'll continue shipping. And, yeah, we're, I mean, compared to previous Kickstarters, I think we've kind of we've kind of got this one down pretty good. April looks like a pretty good date that we're going to be doing it. If we miss it, it will only be by a couple of weeks. Yeah. Aries Gao 2000 wants to know uh, how much of Bones 4 is left to release before there are Bones 5 hits. There's a handful of models. They're all large models. Now, we've actually got some blisters that are showing up uh, that go on, on sale Monday uh, in, uh, on the Reaper Live, or excuse me, man, the Reaper web store, and then as well as your local gaming store. We've got stuff in blisters in February and March too. Now, Beyond that, we've got the Dragon Turtle, the Dance of Death, the Skeletal Dragon, the Tree Man. Um, what else? Guys, help me. Oh, Argent. Um, there's just a handful of models that are left. Nyar uh, Um There's a handful of large models that go in boxes. And I know that we've got the Dragon Turtle, Dance of Death, and I think the Skeletal Dragon coming out. Uh, uh, coming out uh, this summer as well. Uh, Black Sting is another one that we missed. Stygian Barge? Um, Stygian Barge? Yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that, to be honest. I really don't know. Um, it, it may not come back. It may not come out. Um, that said, it might come out. I'm just telling you right now, there are no plans. Uh, it's not on order right now. I know that the Skeletal Dragon, the Dance of Death, I keep looking over there because there are uh, painted versions over there. Skeletal Dragon, Dance of Death, and the Dragon Turtle uh, are the first ones coming up. And then after that, Black Sting, um, the Tree Man, and Yarma Thotep, I believe, are the next ones. So, yeah, it's, we're, get, we're whittling it down. Aerodest wants to know, will the box sets ever be broken up so ind individual pieces can be bought, such as multiple dock pieces? Yes, probably so. Yeah, I don't. We don't have the breakdown of that just yet, um, but I know that there are some things that people are going to want extras of. Like you just, it doesn't do you any good to have three dock pieces. You're going to want to have a lot of those. So we'll probably end up having a pack of those. The barrels and the crates. Um, yeah, we'll probably break a lot of that up, a lot of it out. Um, but the it will be a while. We're just going to have the box set out first, so it'll be it'll be on down the road. I don't have any dates though yet, so. Um, are the uh, Raven Home Ruin pe terrain pieces, are they classic bones or bones black? Classic bones. The terrain pieces pretty much are for uh, the Raven Home. Um, what else? Um, and with the bigger with bigger terrain pieces, it, the, the detail is still pretty good. It's not... It holds the detail I mean, really good. 
it's not real noticeable the difference between the two. Yeah. So most of the bigger terrain pieces are going to be classic bones. Uh, but the, some of the component figures that go with that stuff are going to be bones black. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, um, yeah, there's, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with the results of all the stuff from bones five. Um, Kevin and Daryl, when we get the first shots in, they go over it with a fine tooth comb, find anything that looks weird, weird or wrong. And they, they, they report it. I send their report back overseas and then they, they try to make the adjustments as good as possible. Sometimes, um, they, there's some things you just can't fix, you know, it should have been fixed and we'd have to refix the sculpt and start the whole thing all over again. Um, we don't have to what are that. some of your favorite errors? Do you have a what? top 10 list of your favorite uh, errors <laughs> that you've seen? <laughs> oh, see, you should. Dang it. Uh, no, no. Well, you know what? Actually, um, I'd have to think about that. There may be some good ones, uh, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. Um, I'll have to keep that in mind for next time for Bone 6. By I the think way. It'd be an interesting, I think it'd be an interesting exploration. Yeah. Those two words bone six those those two words i i, I don't want to i shouldn't say anything but that let's just say that talks have begun um beyond talks we've actually started sculpting stuff for bone six um uh <laughs> bob and julie want to know when the glow in the dark dance of death comes out <laughs> that's not a bad idea um <laughs> but yeah we're already looking at bone six um uh, yeah you know what bone six all glow in the dark classics from bones yep. one through five. There you go. There you go. Just repeat it all. That's all you need to do for bone six, probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lots of good stuff playing with. And uh, Ed and I talked a little bit about the direction and, and the, the, the theme. Um, we'll talk more about that later on this year. But yeah, so we're already thinking about it. Already got it going. And it'll be a little different this time around. I won't tell you how just yet, but it'll be a little different this time around. But it's going to be great. I'm re really, really excited about bone six. But well, are we about moving that. everything to a 50 millimeter scale? Isn't that what we're doing now? Let's That's what I heard. Bones, let's stick with Bones 5. <laughs> let's just go back to Bones 5 for a minute. Um, I thought we were going yeah. on three inch squares. No? <laughs> That's what we need to do. Well, we got to fit our recount. Wait, That's not squares. They're tabs. Come on, Jason. Yeah, yeah three inch tabs. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. So... <laughs> Well, oh wait, um, ovals. I meant ovals. <laughs> yeah, guys are funny. I'm just uh, poking wrong. We are funny. He's always changing bases on us. No, I wasn't. Look, I was pretty worried with digression. <laughs> um, wow. So I think you hit a nerve. Uh, I know. <laughs> that's pretty much about it for today. I don't have anything new to show you guys. We showed you the boxes, the ghost pirate ship. Um, Again, we're just sort of counting down the days to, to when the, the, the first containers show up um, and when more ship. And so it's, it's all coming. It's all coming. If you haven't closed your pledge, you need to go over there and get it done now. More items are going to be sh turned off probably this weekend. Um, it, because, like I said, we're just out of inventory. And I'd rather, you know, I don't wanna, we don't want to have you pledge for something you can't get. So, um, yeah. Hey, have you got any prints from uh, the Reaper virtual stuff? Yeah. Um, we've got some prints right here. Um, is that something you well, can show? See. I mean, Come I really... You've been, this you is know, you've been teasing, update, but... teasing us. Five live update, not the re RVE update, but I've got okay, some stuff. Okay, what yeah. is that? we got 200 people in here want, wanting to see, see this stuff. Okay. Well, look, this is a this is a thing. <laughs> I can't really, I mean, what am I going to tell you what it is? It's just a, it's a thing. It's a little robot. Yeah, you can't, you can't oh, yeah, say what it is, robot. right, Ron? I, I don't really quite know what it is. Um, these are part of uh, one of the factions, and this is a thing. It's Who's a thing. It? These are by Chris Lewis. Um, let's see. Jason, the thing you sculpted, the Rutarki, which we've shown a few times, um, we had to make some revisions, right? Yes. Um, yeah, we made some revisions, and that is on the printer now. And Gene, oh. your piece. Yeah, you've been telling me about her now for for a month, and I, I still haven't seen her. Well, 
she she printed great the first time and um look at there oh that's nice it's really cool. nice uh but the back was all jacked up when when things get printed they kind of print at this angle right and so all the supports are on the back well the the textures on the back got really muddy and daryl had to reprint her so hmm. um that's the that's the good print and the, the bad print the quote unquote bad print is somewhere here on my desk. I can't seem to find it right well, now. You don't but... need to show us the bad. Yeah, we don't need to. You don't want to see anyone. Anyway. You don't want to see anyone. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff for uh, RBE coming up. Uh, let's see. What is this? Oh, here's the. Did you ever uh, do the, the chibi? Uh, the chibi grim. I don't have that. It's been printed, uh, and Kevin has it. This is something Chris Lewis sculpted. Come on, Kevin, bring it in. I want to see it. Kevin, hear me? Ah. No, he There's some really good stuff. Some really, really cool, exciting things for RV. Um, some really neat paints and really neat miniatures. Um, but I think everyone's going to enjoy. Uh, here's the Bones USA model for March. Here's the one for uh, April. This April one might get pushed into May, possibly. So I'm gonna show you. Uh, um, show it close. What? <laughs> sorry, I can't show you guys. Uh, that's Such a all. tease. Such a tease. There's that. And then, uh, oh, there's some there's some medals that uh, Gent gave me. Again, it, it, this this is not a good format to show this stuff. You We're know, this to... this is a good. Justin, we need to do a segment called Ron's Desk. You know, stuff on Ron's desk. Oh, geez. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that segment never my dick look my desk is kind of a dump ground not for me <laughs> how about, how about people... just a ron's desk cam that would be just going the whole time there's like so banana pills on it too hey ron yeah uh here's this print here's these metals here's this blister card here's this thing here's this here's that here's some dice here's some hand sanitizer it's just like i'm just be putting stuff on my desk all the time Here's this triad. It's got a typo. Can you fix this? Just all these things. It's like, yeah, it's it's it, it's a mess. It's not my fault though, <laughs> but it kind of is, I guess. <laughs> anyway, a lot of stuff here. Gene, I mean, like you know, Spartans and Amazon on my desk. Sometimes I just have cool stuff on my desk because it's cool. Um, uh, Weeby's um, undead pirate guy, you know, from ReaperCon last year. Still haven't seen this guy painted yet. I wonder. I haven't either. Yeah, which is really well, amazing. I, I am watching a, someone's painting of uh, Captain Frost that's turning out pretty well. Okay. Yeah, that piece was so cool. Such a cool piece. Yet, I haven't seen one single, single painting. Now, I, I haven't been on social media to look, but I haven't seen one painted yet. You know? I, I think people are just catching up. That was a big wave of figures, actually, for that. A lot that. of stuff. A lot of stuff. Bryce so, just said dibs on the pirate guy. <laughs> you got it. So you better send it to him. Hey, Bryce, careful what you wish for. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Yeah, lots of cool stuff. A lot of, a lot of neat stuff. And I'm, I'm really excited about a lot of the, the, the future figures. Um, I know everyone's really, really ready to get their Bones Five stuff uh, shipped to their homes. So, man, that's gonna be a lot of work. A lot of work. It's gonna be. The, it is the biggest Bones. Uh, it's the biggest Kickstarter we've ever done in terms of uh, volume and fulfillment. It's just going to just be crazy. But um, I trust that uh, Ed and, and Cindy and Dave and uh, all the people down there are going to have it all figured out how we're going to fulfill the stuff and you know, as, you know, as efficiently as possible. And still, I think the hardest part is going to be is going to be figuring out where to store all of it in, at your facility. Be, I think half of the new building is going to be full of chips. So, yeah, we're going to have containers full of stuff just sitting in our, our parking lot in our property across the street. So. You're not going to have anywhere to park. Yeah, you're just kind of a <laughs> shipyard. You're going to have to have a shuttle to get people to shuttle them in from some other satellite location to park. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 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 uh, it's pretty nuts. So, but, well, anyway, Time I think to acquire that's some more property. I, I think that's it for today's show. 
Um, yeah. Again, it was sort of kind of an empty show. Um, but there was a whole lot to show, but uh, <laughs> we're, e- we're empty. We're yeah, empty. Yeah, truncated. Empty. Empty. Boy, you're just... a lot of pictures to show and a lot of cool stuff to sort of, you know, get everyone excited. But um, we're at the point well, now. I know why, where... why Bob and Michael, Bobby and Michael decided to skip it. Yeah. yeah. They didn't want to be it's empty. Just... We're to the yeah, point truncated. Where... All the fun, creative stuff is kind of at an end, and now we're just sort of at the waiting point where we're waiting for stuff to show up and the film would actually that whole process starts. Uh, so we're we're in that 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 in between area right now. We're just sort of waiting for uh, for stuff to show up. So purgatory, yeah. it's called purgatory. Besides you guys, um, yeah. Purgatory. I think you should have a show just about painted upcoming painted models for Bones Five. I think we showed like all, all on today. one show. You showed yeah. them all today. I no, think we didn't. did. All the ones I've got. No, you didn't. I've seen more side. painted than that. From both Well, five? you showed us pictures of painted stuff, but you should be holding them up for the camera. Well, I don't have them. I just have the photographs. Oh. Yeah. So Because with... Usually, we just tell the painters, just when you come down next time, just bring it with you, rather than just mailing the stuff. Um, right. And right. Because we can't do anything with the, the models. They would just sit in my office or sit in the Well, that's, that's why I've been telling people just to send them to me when they're done, once the picture's done. <laughs> yeah, so what I was just, that piece? I put them up here yeah. in, the, in the cabinet. In your cabinet with your other stuff. Oh, oh, the, the painted uh, merit, yeah. Um, that, re, that Proctor. No, I'm getting everybody's. I'm getting all the painted stuff. Oh, okay. All right. I know you're not well, getting that. As long as I get photographs, that's the main thing, I guess. We have to have a Reaper Northwest Museum. Yeah, I know. So, well, uh, look, there's our music. That's our cue. It is. Thank <laughs> you guys for uh, for hanging out with us today. We're going to be rating yeah. Giggling Geek Out. All right. Sweet. So, great. We'll that would be great. Crank up okay. the music here just a little bit. I know how much Weeby loves this music. He's already ready. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping she has some content for us. Uh, <laughs> Alright, give us a wave, guys. Can you take us over there? Yes.